Hello, welcome. This is Wendy. I have an exciting project for you today. Now I want to tell you right up front, I do not have any of the measurement details provided for this project. The reason is because I um, am part of the Stampin' Anonymous tutorial bundle team. And this is a team of six really awesome demonstrators, most of them in the top 100 in the company. And um, we put together this awesome tutorial every month that has six projects in it. And this is my project this month. So the reason I'm not sharing the measurements is because the measurements are provided in the tutorial and we've agreed as a group that we will either give the tutorial away to our customers. So if you purchase from me, you get it free. Or if you wanna purchase it for $9.95, you can do that at the link in the description below the video or over on my blog. Um, and you can go to the shop section and then scroll down and go to the PDF tutorial section. So all of that is to tell you that um, while I'm doing the video, make you know, showing you the cute project, I'm not giving you the details on the cute project because that would be um, wrong to do and it would break the rules and agreements of the tutorial bundle team that I'm part of. So I can't share the details, but I can share with you the adorableness of this project. And then if you want to purchase the tutorial, you can do that. Okay, all of that being said, I'm using the Wonderful Romance Designer Series paper and His Grace stamp set along with the Crosses of Hope framelits, which are beautiful. They are in the annual catalog. If you want any of these products, you can purchase them in my store below the video. There's a link um, and you can purchase them there. And then you'll get the tutorials for free, all six of them. Okay, so I thought, what am I going to talk about while I'm crafting and you're watching me create this really cute bag? And I thought, I know what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to tell an Easter story because story time is becoming a thing and I really enjoy sharing. So that's what we're going to do. So growing up, um, my grandparents live on, or they, my grandmother's gone now, but my grandpa still lives on 40 acres and he purchased this property when I was born actually. And so they've had the property for almost 40 years. I'm almost 40 years old. And we had every single Easter at their house growing up and friends and family would come from kind of all over the place to participate and be part of the Easter goings ons. And we would have huge Easter egg hunts out on their property. And it was just super, super fun. We, my, some of my best memories of holidays are definitely Easter. Um, Easter was just, I don't know, it was always bright and happy and sunny and warm because we live in California. And I mean, occasionally I think we had rain, but for the most part, it was always good and happy. But I can just remember always being so excited to go out and hunt the Easter eggs. And I don't know if you guys do this in your family, but in our family, we would let the little kids go first. And by little, I mean like the three-year-olds, four-year-olds, pretty much anybody under about six would go first. And then they would release the bigger kids and let us go. And there was always this one egg full of money. So my cousin, um, Lou, he, he's like my second cousin, technically. Him and his wife would always make the money egg, him and Sharon. And they would fill the money egg with change and usually had some cash in it. And it was literally the only egg I cared about finding. <laughs> I would go out and be like, I don't care about these rotten eggs everywhere else. They weren't really rotten. But in my head, I'm thinking I, I can get a hard boiled egg anywhere, but I cannot get a plastic egg full of money anywhere else, any other time the entire year. And so it was always my goal to find the money egg. It is all I cared about. And I would get so upset if somebody else would find the money egg. Um, but I always kept it to myself. I wasn't outwardly upset. It was just like, 
in my own self, I was like, gosh, dang it. I didn't find the money ink. So anyway, uh, we really enjoyed it. It was always so much fun to go out and search for these eggs. So one year we had Easter and I forget, I forget what was going on in the moment that this happened. But my aunt Linda, who I grew up with, I lived with her off, off and on my whole growing up life, actually. Um, and her and my grandparents and my mom, like wherever my mom was, we were, but oftentimes we would live with other family members because my mom was a single mom and she didn't have a lot of money. And even though she worked full time, it just wasn't enough always. So we would live with different people. So anyway, we were hunting Easter eggs and I remember looking over and saying to my aunt Linda, she was sitting on these rocks and my grandparents had this huge oak tree in the middle of their, um, it's kind of like their turnaround. So you drive up to their house and there's like this turnaround area and there's this gigantic oak tree that lives right in the middle of it. And it's beautiful. And around the oak tree, my grandpa had stacked up like river rocks around the edge and then like flat rocks on the top. So you could almost kind of sit on it. And so, um, and then inside of that area was like a flower bed. So there was always really beautiful flowers planted there. My grandmother loved flowers and she loved springtime and stuff because she loved birds and loved flowers. And so there were always beautiful flowers planted there. And so my aunt was sitting on those rocks right there on the outside of this flower bed. So you see this big oak tree and there's this flower bed with these rocks around it and she's sitting there and everybody's kind of doing their thing, wandering around. And I look over and I see a snake. So where we live, we have rattlesnakes and they are poisonous and they will cause you harm. So I say to her, there is a snake underneath where you're sitting. There's a snake. And she's like, stop it. You know, stop it. And I, nope, there's really, there really is a snake underneath where you're sitting. So she gets up very carefully. And sure enough, it was a rattlesnake. So I don't know about you guys. Okay, this is country life. I'm telling you about country life. So I don't want any comments about how we killed the snake people because it has to happen. There's all these little kids running around. We had little animals and a bite from a rattlesnake will do a little kid in or especially little animals like our chickens and our ducks and all the different, we had dogs. We had all kinds of stuff that ran around on this property, kitties. So my grandpa gets the shovel and finagles the rocks and kills the snake. And I'm telling you guys, I cannot even count the number of snakes my grandfather has killed over the years. Now, we never, ever, ever killed um, gopher snakes, garter snakes, any kind of a snake that was a good snake, what he would call a good snake. <laughs> we never killed those because often they get rid of rodents. Um, in fact, a, go a king snake will eat a rattlesnake. So um, why are we talking about snakes? This is weird. I'm making an Easter bag and I'm having a discussion about snakes. But anyway, so really the rattlesnakes are the only ones that went on the chopping block, literally chopping, chopping. I'm not kidding people. So anyway, all my life growing up, it was always known, watch out for snakes everywhere you go, pay attention, watch out for the snakes because it was really easy to be out playing in the grass or being near, you know, a rock bed of some something going down to the ponds where there could be snakes getting water, whatever, and stumbling upon a rattlesnake. And so we would scream if we did stumble upon them, which happened, we would scream snake, snake as loud as we could. And grandpa would basically come running with a shovel and be ready to kill him. So, um, anyway, that's my Easter story. I saved my aunt from a snake and I always wanted the money egg. So there's that. 
Okay, I'm finishing up this project. So not only is it a really cute bag, it's got an adorable punch. And do you see all that shaking that's happening? I know when you guys watch my videos, every time I stamp hard or punch hard on my tabletop, the whole video shakes. I'm working on rectifying this problem. Here's the deal. In order to rectify this problem, my husband is going to have to install this arm thing from the ceiling that's going to come down and I'm going to be able to hook up my camera to that to video. The deal is that we are in all kinds of remodeling mode, which you know if you follow me and watch me. And so he is just a turkey right now about doing anything extra. So I just know I can't ask him. Like I can't, he's deep in the mode of remodeling all kinds of stuff and doing all kinds of work. And God bless him. He works long, hard days at work. And then he comes home and he works till bedtime here at the house on all the projects we have going on because he's really want we both really want it to be nice for spring and summer this year outside where we live so he's just been working his tail off with all of that and so I know if I ask him hey can you like install this little arm that's going to extend down for me to do videos he's going to be like yeah nah not happening so um yeah, so that's the stamp, uh, that's the tag. I'm going to add this beautiful lace ribbon and then I'm going to attach the tag to the bag. Cute stuff, right? And like I said, if you want all the details on this bag, then please, please feel free to place an order with me or purchase the tutorial. Um, it was super fun to make and it's super cute and I can't wait to give these out. I'm going to make several of them, I think, and give them out with Easter goodies in them to my nieces. So I have a lot of nieces, people. There's a lot of them. So I'm going to make them these bags, I think, because they're so cute. And I love that they focus on God, which really is, I mean, the whole, we wouldn't even have Easter if we didn't have Jesus. Am I right? So, I mean, there's that. So I like to focus on that a little bit, just a little bit. It's not all about the money egg. <laughs> so um, that is my finished project and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see other videos from me, you can click on either one that you see here to go to those videos. You can click on the picture that has my face and that will subscribe you to my channel. You can shop at shoploveandstampin.com. And of course, visit my website. I've made a few changes recently and I think you'll really love it. Talk to you soon. Bye.